What is wrong with me? Kiki? Kiki? Yeah, you let that rat suffocate in that bag this whole time, too. Well, let's go check on the letterbox, Daifuku. That's not the letterbox. Oh. <laughs> After confirming the box was empty, I left the bathhouse. As I took a casual stroll toward the plaza, a certain figure caught my attention. What's he doing there? Under the moon dial was Azuha sitting on the ground. It looked like he had a set of... That's not what he had. He had a set of... Tooth? I can't talk. He, it looked like he had a set of shoe shining tools spread out in front of him, but he was reading a book intently. Azula. <laughs> I see you've got a nice business. That's great. Could you shine my shoes for me? Alright, no flaking on him, Olympia. Sure. You know, I really appreciate it. I remembered what Yosuga told me earlier as I looked at Azuha holding his brush. I heard you want to become a doctor. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I promise. I have to admit, it's really impressive that you're preparing for the future already. Grandma sticks. What the hell? <laughs> there we go. Grandma sticks. There's a canal up in here. That's Grandmaster. As in the river sticks from the story? What an awful nickname. I wonder what she means by what she said about Yomi men. Azuha quickly polished my shoes as I pondered over this grandma sticks person. Thank you. They're so shiny now. Here you go. <laughs> Azuha carefully tucked the coin into his pocket, then gave me a good stare. What is it? I, yeah, I know. Is something the matter? I, I know. Demo, kito okorareru kara. Oh, Lordy. Come on, tell me what it is. Now I was really curious what he wanted to say. Don't worry, I won't get angry. <laughs> what does he want to say? Uh, uh, <laughs> Now, fun fact, y'all, me, me personally, <laughs> it's a little kid, but if it was a grown-ass person asking me, I'd be like, fuck no, don't ever touch me. But little kids, they're curious, whatever. Yeah, sure, just don't go crazy, you know? <laughs> I felt a bit nervous about his sudden request. But Azuha's eyes were no different from earlier. He looked at me like I was some kind of treasure. Sure. I crouched down a bit, and he hesitantly reached out to me. 
He gingerly touched my hair. And... <laughs> Boy, you still think I got Haku or something? Is that what Haku people go through? Like, your hair is cold? The fuck? Huh? Cold? What do you mean? Hearing his name again made my heart jump. So you thought my hair was snow. <laughs> Child. Oh, you sweet baby. That literal snow. I could feel my heart leap again. Oh boy. Hey, you know what? Azuha, sweetheart. Same here. I've never seen snow in my life. That's because I'm from Florida, where it doesn't really snow. Shaved ice! Yes, I guess you could say that. I replied with a smile that seemed to burst forth out of nowhere. My heart was filled with a swirl of emotions. Azu has never seen snow before. I doubt it would snow down here in Yomi. Of course, that also meant that they had never seen the real sun before. Beyond those disheartening clouds of thought, something shone brilliantly in my mind. <laughs> He just said that like five seconds ago. Yosuga said that? Really? He never told me himself. Or he never told me so himself. I wonder what he thought of me. I began to worry about it and couldn't seem to calm myself down. He's never said it in person before, has he? I didn't miss him saying that, right? I might have to just... But I might have just heard something that I wasn't supposed to hear. But now that I knew... Azuha, there's something I need to do, so I will have to... Or, so I will have to get going. Thank you for the shoe shine. Uh, uh, mata ne. What am I doing? Of course I wanted to see Yosuga again after hearing that, but... What am I gonna say to him? My legs were heavy as I tried to make... Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Excuse me, y'all. My legs were heavy as I tried making my way to the bathhouse. Suddenly, I heard Masuhana call out to me from behind. Huh? It's no problem. I just, um, forgot something at the bathhouse. That's why I was going there. So, this is the ゆうすげからお詫びを言葉遣っております。ジーズ。ミスタービアニ。私の失礼を何卒ご容赦ください。She Oh, so then she was the one who wrote that letter to the yellow. Matsuhana paused for a moment, looking down. Matsuhana? 
実は彼女はつい最近読みに来たものなんですん何でも、うん、病で髪の色が変わってしまったとかわたしもくわしくはわからないのですがそのせいでだれかにすがたをみられるのをひどくいやがるのです。あまりにも塞ぎ込んでいるのもよくないと思い昨日少し散歩でもと連れ出したのですが you... あなた様に火は全くございません。I gotta stop. I gotta read the person saying the line. I see. I tried to remember Yusuge from yesterday. I didn't recall seeing the color of her hair. Her face and head were completely hidden under her scarf and hood. I'm not angry in the slightest. Now that I understand, I'm more worried about her. I nodded quietly in response. The fear she displayed wasn't directed at me, it was directed at herself. I hope the day comes soon that I can see her smile. <laughs> オランピア様に憧れているんですよ舞台のこともいろいろと話してくれました、really? I'm somewhat embarrassed. 海から眩しい日が昇るあの瞬間が本当に美しいのだともう見ることはかなわないけれどずっと心に刻んでおくと。彼女の話を聞いていると私まで上に行ったような気持ちになりますできるなら私も一度あマスハナ looked away in shame な何でもございません今のは忘れてくださいそうそうよもぎも返事を喜んでおりました。I felt helpless as she forced a smile on her face. But there was nothing I could do right now to bring her to the surface. I'm glad to hear. Please let her know I can deliver any more letters she wants to write. I know. By the way, Masuhana, do you know a per or you know a person called Grandma Sticks? <laughs> I've only just heard about her, but I'm a bit worried. One of the boys here told me. She said that the men of Yomi are good for nothings. I can tell Masuhana wasn't happy to hear that. She gave an obvious frown that seemed so unlike her graceful demeanor. A midwife? Hmm. This is Azuha, my, my baby, right now. I'm not gonna disregard what he says just off the bat so quickly. Something isn't right at all. I could see she was smiling, but there was something awkward about it. Hmm. With that, Masuhana quickly walked away. I wanted to stop her to ask her a bit more about it, but I didn't want to involve her unnecessarily. 
Here I go again, butting into people's business, even when I'm not a resident of Yomi. I probably know nothing about all, nothing at all about Yomi or even Yosuga. I twirled a bit of my hair around my finger. It was white, just as it has al just as it had always been. Takuku, I think we should head home now. Or we should head home. Kiki, Kiki. The truth is that I live on the surface. I'm merely an outsider to the people of Yomi. <laughs> Title drop. So getting myself involved in their affairs is... I made my way back to Yomotsu Hirasaka, feeling helpless and feeling like I didn't belong here. Biaki is going and we're gonna go as well and sign off because that's the end of the video so folks thank you very much for watching really appreciate you stopping on by yeah I know my philosophy on this YouTube shit view what you wanna do what you wanna and I'll see you lovely lads and lassies in the next episode so until then my friends take care take it easy and